I'm Colin Real. Um, I go to Gonzaga College High School. I'm a senior here. I'm a face-off guy at D-Midi, and I'm committed to Marquette University. Um, walk us through a little bit about the the recruiting process for you. Like uh, starting off, like who were your final three, four uh, schools that you were you were looking at? My final four were Amherst, Dartmouth, Lafayette, and uh, Marquette, of course. So what what kind of items going into the before you made your visits where you were like, these are the things that the school needs to kind of have um, for me to to really want to be here? Well, first of all, great academics. All the schools have outstanding programs for academics and everything. So. That was a big thing, but also uh, just uh, kind of a good community around. Like, for instance, uh, when I committed to Marquette, I loved the atmosphere around. Like, everyone was very nice. I mean, Mo Milwaukee's a great city, so that's one thing that pulled me in. And also the fact that I can just do stuff. Like, at like school-wise, I, I have, like, opportunities with internships or something like that. Just something that I can build up a resume while I'm there. So lacrosse isn't the be-all, end-all. Like, I can build up my future at this school and the rest of my life eventually. So, so w was that the, the deciding factor? Because I'm sure, you know, when you narrow it down to your three schools, you're looking at certain things. So what was the, the end-all, be-all? It probably wasn't one thing. What were the group of things that were like, hey, you know, Marquette's where I'm going to eventually end up? Well, the fact that um, just, I mean, I love their basketball programs. Just a big, big games like that. It was a lot of fun. That was actually when I decided I was going to go to Marquette because the game it was against Pitt. And I just loved the atmosphere. And I just loved the student section because we had that here, too. And just the, like I said, community, just very welcoming. So that was a big thing for me. And also academics, love to continue Jesuit education, especially from coming from Gonzaga. So that was another big thing also. So now kind of fast forward, or I guess not fast forward, maybe rewinding back to when you first started this process. Um, what, what's a little bit of advice you would give to, you know, the, the 2016s who haven't committed, or the 2017s who I'm sure are just starting to get some interest? Honestly, like you gotta tell, you gotta ask yourself, do I want to go to college for lacrosse? And if you answer that question yes or no, like that determines, am I gonna work harder than everyone else that's either committed or gonna be committing in my class? Am I gonna go to that party on Saturday, or am, am I gonna go to bed early and wake up Sunday and go to a workout with one of my coaches, or just get better? Like it's honestly, you gotta, you gotta dedicate yourself if you're gonna commit. You can't just. You can't just like it. Just not. It's not just gonna happen. Like you gotta talk to coaches. You can't. You can't just be afraid of them. I mean, they don't want to talk to your parents. They don't want to talk to you. So I mean, you gotta build up that courage to talk to people. So yeah. your big advice is like just basically be self aware because I'm sure some kids probably like the idea of playing D1 or playing in college. But as you said, you give up a lot of a lot of things that the, probably the normal student doesn't. Yeah, you just. I mean, you gotta crack down on grades as well. I mean, like if you wanna. I mean, if the question. You never want the question of grades to be a problem. So, I mean, grades as well would be a big thing. But also, when you're that young, you barely know what you want for dinner that night. So, I mean, how do you know where you're going to commit to college? So, I mean, it's another thing. you got to just wait. I mean, you don't even know what you like. So, I mean, just try new things, see what you like, then decide after that. So.